morning students we had started with laws of chemical combination and in the last class we have discussed two laws isn't it that is uh, law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportion today we are going to discuss the other laws that is the third law law of multiple proportion now see i have written down the statement what does this law states it states for let us read the statement and then i will explain you okay and uh, one more thing this law was given to us by dalton in 1803 okay so what does the statement says that when two elements combine to form more than one product okay more than one compound then the masses of one of the elements which combine with the fixed mass of other element are in a simple whole number ratio okay let me write element not elements i am talking about one of the elements for example now if i take hydrogen and oxygen Now you know these two elements; they are forming more than one compound. What are those? Uh, what are those compounds which, when hydrogen and oxygen combine, can form? They can form water. They can also form hydrogen bonds. So when hydrogen and oxygen are combining, they can form more than one compound. Okay. Next, see then the masses of one of the elements. Which will combine with the fixed mass of the other element. Now here, see, if I calculate the mass in water, H two O, I know hydrogen is two gram, isn't it? And oxygen is sixteen gram. Here also, see, hydrogen is two gram, but oxygen is thirty two gram. So actually, if I find out the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in both the compounds. And what is this question saying? This question says that when the masses of one of the element, what is that element? Oxygen. This oxygen is actually combining with the fixed mass of other element. What is that other element? Hydrogen. And the hydrogen mass is kept constant. What is the mass? Two. Is it right? Then this ratio, when the masses of oxygen will With the fixed mass of it will be in a simple whole number ratio. Means if I calculate the ratio of this oxygen in these two different compounds, the ratio will be sixteen is to thirty two. That is, it is it is a simple whole number ratio. That is one is to two. Is it? Okay? I'll repeat once more. What does this statement says? That if two elements can form more than one compound, then The mass of one of the element which combines with the fixed mass of another element will be will have a simple whole number ratio. Okay. See, I will take one more example so that it becomes even more clear. Let me take the example of nitrogen oxides. Okay. See, nitrogen oxides can form how many compounds? It can form NO, it can form NO, it can form NO3, it can form NO4, and it can form NO5. These are the different compounds which nitrogen can, with uh, different compounds of nitrogen and oxygen. Means I am talking about the oxides of nitrogen. So in these various compounds, what can we see? We can see that here, what we will do actually, we are going to make the mass of any one element fixed. Okay, now whose element, whose mass am I going to make fixed? Let me make the mass of nitrogen fixed. So what am I writing here? Weight of nitrogen. So see here, what is the weight of nitrogen? Nitrogen is atomic mass is forty. So forty. Two zero. That is 
48 here, 16 is a 48. Again, 16 falls up, 64. And 65 that is 50. So these are the are hallmarks of oxygen. Next what I will do, I am going to make the weight of nitrogen fixed. What is the lowest mass protein? So what can I do? Fixed mass of nitrogen. Let me make the mass of nitrogen fixed. So what I will, what will I do? I will divide this comma by 2. So 20 is by 2 gives me 40. This is already 40. Here again I am dividing to this also. And the last one also. So see what do I do? I make the weight of nitrogen fixed. Now let me see. Thank you. 
what you are going to prove. Now see how are we going to solve this question. What did I said you? That we are going to take the mass of one of the compound fixed. So what am I doing? Here I can write first comma. In the first comma, what is the percentage of carbon? This percentage of carbon is 42.9%. So what will be the percentage of oxygen? 100 minus 42.9, what will it give you? It will give you 0.17. So you can write it as 
Egypt in the year 1792. Okay? And now let us see what this law states. This law states that when two animals So, okay. 
and then you will calculate the ratio of hydrogen is to sulfur. Then calculate what is the ratio of the two. In these two compounds, what is the ratio of hydrogen and sulfur when the mass of oxygen is kept constant? And here, what is the ratio of hydrogen and sulfur? Okay, then if the ratio are say mass and multiple of that ratio, then you will say that the result is an equivalent to the power of oxygen proportion. Okay, so I expect you people can solve this question. The next two laws which are left, we will discuss in the next.